climate change. This is one of our big challenges along with population growth. So rather than plan just 25 years into the future, which is what we've always done, we're now looking to 2050, to 2080, and to 2100, both for flooding with regard to the Thames barrier, but also with regard to river basins as well. How would we manage resources in the future? And when we look out there, this group is absolutely key because we work with colleagues in Australia and other countries to start to design new regulatory uh, models and tools for the future to make it fit for the 21st century. Australia has been through a, a real challenge over 10 years. We call it millennium drought in dealing with challenges of water scarcity and particularly in the uh, major cities that are uh, generally around the the, uh, the coast in, in Australia. So there's been lots of innovation uh, involved in coming up with uh, solutions for climate independent uh, water supplies and the regulation has had to address a lot of different challenges. The World Water Congress in Brisbane 2016 will have a specific focus, a specific stream on water regulators and we're looking forward to being able to share the experiences of Australia in, in uh, water regulation, but also uh, building on the conversations that have occurred over the last two years of regulated forums in, in London and in Lisbon, and, uh, and being able to, to continue working together with regulators internationally of how we can, uh, can innovate and, uh, and find the right regulatory solutions for different countries.